Team Fullest. What's up? How ya? Eh, eh. <laughs> What's up, Team Fullest? This is again Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to of my channel guys welcome so today we're going to do another get ready with me another makeup look tutorial another dark skin friendly makeup look tutorial we get the eyeshadow popping i'm not using any other but the nabla cosmetic eyeshadow palette i picked this palette a while ago and trust me i still haven't used all the shade in this palette i will but definitely be back to play with this palette because the shades are really really beautiful I can't wait to try some of this so this is what I used to create this look and so far so good I'm really loving this look tell me what do you guys think if you guys like this video like comment subscribe and share and let's jump into the tutorial I've done my eyebrow. I use my Ellie Girl Brow Kit and I use my Makeup Revelation Cut Chris Canvas to cut my eyes. So now it's time to dive in. We're going to play with the Nabla Cosmetic Eyeshadow Palette. I've used this palette once but I haven't played with all the shadows. So today I want to come here and play with these shadows. So first what we are going to do, I'm going to take this shade here this brown hair I'm going to use this to transition I'm just going to use this to transition all over my eyes so people I really love this palette and the Nabla cosmetic products are really really nice which I really really like I, if you live in Holland you can get it from the bougie shop bougie shop do sell Nabla cosmetic um they don't really have a lot of stuff if you have credit card or you have a way that you can get makeup from other countries that does not only that don't have ID payments then maybe you can check the Nabla cosmetic websites so yeah this is not sponsored, I just like their product, so that is why I am talking about it. But it's not sponsored in any shape or form, okay? So I don't want someone thinking that, oh, this video has been sponsored. Nope, it's not. I wish it was, but it's not. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this darker shade. I'm going to put this in the outer corner of my eyes. Just like right here, this the, the pigment is super super beautiful. It has such a beautiful pigment. I'm just gonna bring it just a little bit into my crease, just a little bit, just a little bit. Try not to bring it all the way up just a little bit into the crease and then blend take a little bit more of the shadow trying to build up the shade that I put on the outer corner just to make it a little bit more darker and then just blend 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 blend, blend it out very smoothly so now I'm going to take that first brush I used to transition I'm just going to blend that dark shade that I put in the inner corner on the crease just to make it smoother as you guys can see it's such a beautiful shade like really really like the brown that they the darkest brown is like really really dark like real brown it's gonna take a little bit it's like I like to build it up but at the same time I don't want to have like any hush line on it. Going in again with that same brush I used to transition. I'm just gonna like blend the hush line. I'm also trying to blend it out to shade like this. So yeah, so now that we've done that, um I wanna use this shade. I've never I've never really tried this shade here. So I'm going, to, I'm going to take my finger, 
I'm gonna put this OMG this is beautiful I'm just gonna do like a dab emotion just dab 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 oh my god this is such a beautiful shade this is so beautiful guys Just gonna dab, 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 dab. So you just get into tech, you guys can see it's so easy. The eyeshadow is very, very beautiful. I really like it. I feel like the pigment kind of show off more when you use your finger to just dab everything and it looks really really nice so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take the dark shade i'm just gonna like trying to darken the outer corner just a little bit just a little bit not too much and then i'm going in with this um, brush i used to transition that i used to transition just to blend everything and make it like smoother I like to take another fluffy brush that just take a little bit of the product to the eyeshadow and just do like a swiping motion towards the outer corner just so that everything like blend like really smooth like you just don't see the shadow ends in one direction like you kind of see it everywhere if you if you understood what I'm trying to say. But yeah, this is it for the eyes. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to line my eyes. I'm going to use this eyeliner. I'm just going to line this eyes. So this is the eyes. The eyeshadow is looking really beautiful. So now I'm going to prime. I'm going to use this Makeup Revelation Face Primer. <laughs> I'm like always... Just take that. I like to put it around, like mostly around my problem areas, where like my pores are always standing out. My nose, a little bit on my forehead, like right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to color correct but I'm not going to color correct I'm just gonna leave it like that so what I'm going to do I'm going to take my liquid illuminate I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna use this one just a little bit just a, a little bit go a long way a little bit go a long way so this is what we are talking. I love liquid illuminator. Like it really makes your makeup looks beautiful. Like your makeup will looks even more beautiful when you use liquid illuminator. So I'm just gonna take the brush. I'm just gonna separate that unicorn eyebrow. My hair is being like I don't know, like. A week or two now since I shaved my hair all off and my hair is growing back guys like I told you guys my hair grows really really fast it's crazy my hair is growing back I can't wait for it to like grow a little bit and then shave like the side looks very low and this side a little bit of hair like like a, like a I don't know how to like a taper cut that's what I want to do but first I wanted to just shape everything off like just feel my bald head and skin and then go in with the shape of course because that was my ultimate dream but yeah we're going to use the makeup revolution foundation this is in f15 it's a little bit darker but it kind of somehow matches my neck um so i'm going to use this one
this is just like one deep into the into the foundation so you're just gonna first blend this into the skin blend 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 look a little bit too light on my forehead but you guys know my forehead is <laughs> my forehead is dark 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 but for the rest it's kind of blend in super nice everything you guys see so let's just take one more This up the stick just like blend it into the face just make sure you get everything out of the stick yeah it looks blends really nice you know it's time to blend this one Just blend the one on my neck so that makes everything blends and matches really good. As you guys can see, everything blends really, really smooth. Everything looks really nice. Like the foundation is like. Real bomb. I really love this foundation. I likes to bring everything down to my neck. My neck, my neck is still a little bit darker, but it's better than nothing. I just like to blend this. Where's my hair? My my hair grows in a really crazy way. Cause I just realized like this side of my hair grows like this side grows like this when the hair grows everything fall like this and this side when it grows it goes like this and this side comes like this this goes like this the hair is crazy but yeah i'm happy at, at least it is growing back that's it so now i'm going to take the same um concealer with the foundation this is in C14.7 so this is a little bit on the redder warm tone but I kind of like this because the foundation is like on the cool tone so just get all that foundation into the underneath the eyes just take a little bit on the forehead just a little bit just get the rest on my face so today I'm going to take a real technique sponge it's not wet it is is dry so I'm going to use this to blend You guys can see the foundation concealer is not that like super super light, so it looks like you can't see anything. But I'm gonna use a little bit of a lighter powder, so we're going to like blend everything, balance it. Like we're gonna do like a balanced makeup. Just gonna blend everything. Excuse my crazy face expressions when it comes to blending. It's like actually when you blend it underneath your eyes, you be doing your face like you know, it's just so crazy. But yeah, a girl had to do what a girl gotta do. You understand? 
Just like the way a man had to do what a man has to do, a girl has to do what a girl got to do. So I'm just going to take that brush, the foundation brush, and just do like the foundation, like, like smooth everything on the edges. But so far, so good. Everything is been pretty good. I really kind of like it. I still have that brightness underneath my eyes just a little bit. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take the Makeup Revolution powder. Ooh. Oops, 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 oops. This powder is already popping out. I'm just going to take that powder. I'm going to use that to set. Get it right underneath the eyes. Make sure you get everything. A little bit on the forehead, not too much. Just a little bit. Yep. Just to, just to, you know, just to set everything. Nice. Yep. I feel like that is enough. Let me just a little bit here. A little bit on this side. Just to, Yes, that's enough. So now it's time to do the bottom lashes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dark shade here. I'm going to put it underneath the bottom lashes. Um, please excuse my face expressions. Now we've done that, it's time to set. I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution powder as well. This is in dark. I'm going to use this to set. When you take a lot of powder, this is what happens. Like, I took it, the powder came was a lot on the brush. It's like that brush just wipe up all the excess powder. You guys can see you just wipe everything I still I can still see that brightness underneath the eyes so we cool yep mm -hmm. so now it's time to contour I'm going to take my Elego contour powder you guys know this is my go-to contour powder
Yep. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. So now it's time to do that reverse control. I'm going to take this powder here. This powder is not so super dark. So not super bright. So it's like kind of it's good for reverse control. So now it's time to bronze. I'm going to take the slick bronzer. I'm going to take this one. Yeah, I'm going to use this to bronze. I'm, going to, I'm just going to use that same contour brush to, to use. Just make sure you bronze everything. Everything is like bronze, bronze, bronze. I'm gonna take this um, shade. I'm gonna use this one to contour my nose. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take my brush just to like. Oh, look, got the brush in my eyes. I don't want to cry. I got the brush in my eyes. So now it's time to do the lip. I'm going to take this um I think I'm gonna take yeah I'm gonna take this makeup revolution lip liner and I'm gonna take this um CD no, wet and wild wet and wild lipstick. So so you have to line the lip. To sharpen this pencil, The lip liner is very very soft and it breaks very quickly. I don't know. Like it's it's so soft and it breaks so quick, it's crazy.
so now it's time to wipe off this excess powder here so now it's time to highlight so i'm going to use a little bit of blush of this slick blush i'm going to use a little bit of this on my cheek just to give my face a little bit of color when i said a little bit i mean a little bit <laughs> okay just let's just do a little bit a little bit i don't really like blush but i want to have my cheekbones to have some colors I'm gonna mix it with this like a peach kind of blush just a little bit you know you can't see on the camera but it's definitely make a difference okay my cheekbone has a little bit of color not too much just a little bit I like to bring my blushes like like this not too much but I'm not really a blush kind of person so yeah, so now it's time to highlight. I'm going to use the Nabla Cosmetic Highlighter. Oh, I thought I, I thought I something fell down. But I'm going to use this one to highlight. First, I'm going to take the small brush. I'm going to start in the inner corner of my eyes. Just a little bit. Just a little bit like this. Yes, can you guys see that? I'm just going to take also a little bit on the brush. I'm going to try to do the brow bone. Trying to distribute the product. I'm gonna take a further brush. I'm gonna try to like I'm gonna use the other side of the brush. Just try to like blend. Yeah, not too much, just a little bit. Let's do the nose. I like to do the tip of my nose like that. And then just brush a little bit on the top. And I like to use my fingers to just like bring it a little bit on the nose bridge, not too much. Yeah, I feel like when the tip of my nose is highlight and a little bit here, um, I feel like it's okay like that. You don't need too much. A little bit go a long way. So now it's time to highlight the the cheekbone. Just take a little bit of the ooh, okay, Nabla. You just take a little bit. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, dames and herren, this is the end result. This is the finished result, guys, of this makeup look. Um, I really, really like it. Guys, I used this setting spray for the first time, and yo, my makeup, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but my skin, the makeup, like, I don't know whether it's the ball head. Or what but I just love the makeup look it's so really really nice um it's like you know glam natural really on the natural side and I really really like it my hair is growing I'm looking good I'm feeling good so yeah this is the end of the time I try and list all the product I use in the description box Soms vergeet ik wel, soms ik vergeet eh, ik weet nog de laatste video, ik zeg ik zou alles zetten, maar ik vergeet het wel. Maar ik zal proberen dit keer alles in de beschrijvingsbox te zeggen. Alles. Maar jullie weten al wat ik allemaal gebruik, want ik noem alles al één voor één. Dus ik vind het ook niet, soms niet echt belangrijk om alles in de beschrijvingsbox te zetten. Maar ik zal proberen, maar jullie weten al, ik gebruik deze concealer al zo vaak. Deze aan dingen al heel vaak. Dus vandaag, dit is de enige 
nieuwe product die ik heb eigenlijk vandaag gebruikt. This is, the, this is the only new product I use. Sometimes I do forget to put the product I, I use in the description box. But it, you guys know everything I use. Like I, this, these things are repeatedly, 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 I repeat them. So you guys know everything. Sometimes I do forget, to be honest. But I'll try and list everything I use in the description box. But if you guys have any question of certain products, let me know in the comment box and I'll definitely reply to you guys. So this is the finished result. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow me on my Instagram for more pictures and follow me on my Facebook like page, guys. Follow me on my Facebook like page. All the link is in the description box. Let's 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 communicate, you know. Let's communicate. So yeah. See you guys in my next video. This is your Amy. Do not forget to abonnee and see you in the next video. Bye! Hey, 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 h